Now in Chautauqua County, officials opened up with more details about their COVID cluster problem involving a local food processing plant and how they're trying to cope with an outbreak involving its large workforce, including that new state testing. Twin News Side's Ron Plant says more of the details and some of the emotional turmoil they're currently facing. This facility, the Fire Training Academy in the city of Dunkirk, is going to be used as one of the new testing sites. Officials from the State Health Department on scene right now setting up sophisticated testing equipment. It's actually a state follow-up to Chautauqua County's own mass testing program run on Tuesday to screen nearly 400 of the 650 member workforce at the Fieldbrook Foods plant in Dunkirk. So far over the past two weeks, 49 Fieldbrook workers tested positive for COVID and 14 other cases were described as close contacts of workers. The county explaining today why they did not force a shutdown of the ice cream production facility, such as we saw in past months with some meat packing plants around the country. Part of it, constant state monitoring of food production and then the overnight cleaning schedule. It did not seem to make any sense to close them down to have them do a deep clean since they're doing that every 24 hours. With questions and criticism about the county's notification process and response, the health director stressed their limited staffing and funding. Also noting they've discovered recent large-scale social gathering events in Dunkirk, then this. Every person in this community must take personal responsibility. What you do on your downtime, on your half hours, is up to you. But please remember that the consequences of that spill over to our community. They also spill over to all of us who are working 24 seven to try to prevent the spread of this disease. I'm very proud of my staff. Wear your masks, wash your hands. This isn't rocket science. I implore you to just please use some common sense. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.